Now, for one local boy, today's speech had extra meaning. It was during the president's talk the nine-year-old was singled out for a special contribution he made to the William J. Clinton Foundation. Hey, Channel Shachi Curl now with that part of the story. Well, Hudson, lots of grown-ups turned out to hear Bill Clinton speak. Lots of students from local schools came too, but only one, Jamie Poncia, who's in grade four at Glen Lyon Norfolk School, was recognized. Here's what the president had to say about him. I can't resist calling public attention to a young person in the audience. I don't know if there's enough lights, but Jamie Poncia, where are you? Stand up. Where are you? Where's Jamie? Over there. See him? He's right here in the front row in a very nice coat and tie, and I'm sorry it's too dark for you to see him. Now, why was Jamie sitting in the front row with a nice coat and tie? Turns out he was inspired to raise more than $200 for the Clinton Foundation. Then he wrote to Clinton telling him about it, and today Jamie got the chance to hand over a check in person. And just a few minutes ago, he was in studios here with us, and here's what he had to say about it. Well, my brother saw him speak in Vancouver, so he told me about how children in poor countries are getting enough money for AIDS and all those other diseases and how Bill Clinton is helping prevent of them dying with those diseases and then there's conquer season which are these conquer okay explain explain what these are uh, these are pretty much horse, uh, horse walnut things on a string tied here. And it's used to play a game where you try to smash the other person's conquer. Okay, and then what did you do with these conquers? Um, I made a whole bunch and I sold them to kids at my school and I raised Two hundred four dollars by just selling conkers. And then you wrote to him. Yes, I will. Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm nine years old, and I will send the money to you. Is it possible that I could give it to you during the event that you're at Victoria? And then what happened? Did you hear anything back? It came out of the blue. Um, it was about 10 o'clock yesterday morning, and the gentleman introduced himself and asked to speak to Jamie Poncia, and Jamie wasn't there. It was during the day. And, I, and, and so then I spoke to him, and he said he was uh, an aide to President Clinton, and that he would like uh, President Clinton had heard about the fundraising that Jamie had done. Now, Jamie, tell me a little bit about your experience today. What was it like? What happened? At the day of the event, I described myself as scared and happy. And now, how would you describe yourself now that it's all over? Relieved. Now, Hudson Jamie said his meeting with Clinton was longer than he expected. He and his family posed for about 10 photos with the president, at which time Bill Clinton told him the money he'd raised with his conkers, his chestnuts, was enough to pay for the health care and medicine for a child in a developing country for an entire year. So it was quite a day for such a little boy. And while he doesn't know what his next project or fundraising effort is going to be, he says he's committed to what he calls thinking globally and acting locally, and he's been inspired by Bill Clinton. Well, good for him, and I understand what he means when he says he's relieved. <laughs> Shachi, thank you. You're welcome.